Now at 11 o'clock, unrest for the family of a man killed by police. Tonight, they were protesting the shooting that left a 19-year-old dead following a carjacking and a high-speed chase. The family says police went too far, while others say the officer was within his rights to pull the trigger. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live from State Police Headquarters in Middletown. Matthew, what is the family demanding tonight? Well, Mark and Aaron, they have two demands, and we're going to get to that in a moment. But first, we talked about how this uh, the shooting was controversial, and the family addresses that as well. They say they do not condone what Suleiman did, but they do say that he did not need to die. Fighting back tears, this is the heartbroken mother of 19-year-old Mubarak Suleiman. All I want is justice. I want justice. Her son shot and killed by state police after he allegedly carjacked a victim in Norwalk before taking police on a dangerous chase through rush hour traffic on 95 last Wednesday. It ended here in West Haven with Suleiman boxed in, his final moments captured via body cameras. Suleiman didn't obey commands to exit the car, and after a taser was deployed, Suleiman appears to reach for his waistband when Trooper Brian North fired the shots that ended his life. North says a knife was in the car. We don't condone the issue of uh, carjacking and whatever allegations they have leveled against him. We, as a community, as citizens, a law-abiding citizens, we want justice to be done. Today, the family, some flying in from Ghana, met with the state's public safety commissioner. They talked about the investigation and the need for additional de-escalation training. They emerged with two demands. This officer has to go home. There's no point for him working. That's the first step. North is off the streets, but he's still on the job, assigned to desk duty. The Middlesex state's attorney is investigating, but the family wants this turned over to the U.S. attorney. We do not trust the state to investigate the state. The family will meet with the state's attorney tomorrow morning in New Haven. On the eve of that meeting, protesters marched in below freezing temperatures from New Haven City Hall to the city's police department. Justice for me. We'll be here, we'll be at his home, we'll be uh, at Bridgeport where he's working, we'll be protesting. So it looks like these protests will continue and that's because Trooper North is still with state police and the family says they may take their protests right here to the department headquarters next. That's the latest live here in Middletown. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.